Hey my friends, welcome back to Arms Only Gaming, Mike here. I'm going to show you guys a couple of uh, things that you might have missed. I get a, qu a lot of questions about this. It's how to do co-op. I mean, sometimes people get it, sometimes they don't. But I'm just going to explain. Go to your system when you're online. Scroll down to network. Uh, make sure you have no password in password matching. World region should be worldwide and that. And then you ring your small resonant bell. Now, you will notice on the screen it's going to say searching for players to help, you know, searching for the chime of a beckoning bell. But if you notice at my feet, the little warp, when the lines are going to the outside, when they're riffling to the outside, that means you're looking for someone to help. Otherwise, if you're doing the thing where you ring the beckoning bell, those rings would go inward. Okay, well, I got a guy here. Now, here's a funny, funny thing. Sometimes players are very friendly. They wave back and uh, they're quite nice to play with. Who was this? Can't remember the guy's name, but we were taking on the Blood Starved Beast. Remember, when you take on the Blood Starved Beast, you must uh, always have some antidotes with you because uh, the Blood Starved Beast, she can poison you. So, um, let's see how this goes. Can't see the power bar, I took that away for the purpose of the video. I was using my sword fever with some beast blood pellets and some fire paper. Fire works great with this boss. Co-op is a nice nice little thing. It's a nice way to pass the time, especially if you're playing with friends. Um, this didn't go too badly. She's spewing a lot of poison there, but um, I'm just going to go for this. But yeah, just some basic stuff that most people miss in how to do co-op and stuff. Just make sure you don't have a password on, make sure you, you ring the right bell, and make sure you're standing at the same place as where the cooperators would be, or the people you want to help. You'll find most people at boss doors, most new players, they struggle a little bit with, uh, with the game. I mean, Bloodborne is a hard game, it's a great game, I love this game, but uh, it's, uh, it's one of those things, uh, I, I can't stop playing this thing. This game is six years old now, and um, I'll probably play it a thousand times more. Okay, so we got the Bloodstuff Beast in that one. Friendly, he's happy, I'm just waving to him. Made a little victory run to the, the lantern. But then you get guys like these. Now this guy's name was Jack. I couldn't get Jack's attention for nothing. I was shouting at him. I thought, okay, he was just standing still. Hello, Jack. Let's go kill the boss. I'll wave again. Maybe I should shout again. No, I'll bow first. Nothing. Hello. <laughs> hey, Sigima. Jack probably went to the bathroom. So I'll shout at him. <laughs> Some. I'll shout at the guy. Come on, man. Time is money. No response. I'm, I'm shouting to my heart's content and nothing is happening. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Are you donkey? That's a uh, thank you in Afrikaans. Are you donkey? Okay, let's run around the guy for a bit. Um, maybe he'll wake up pretty soon. Hello. Hmm. Okay. Maybe if I shout once more, Jack will wake up. Hey! Okay. Oh, there he goes. Okay. But he doesn't wave. He's not a very friendly co-op guy. So let's take on the Bloodstar Beast again. Again, using my sword cleaver, fire paper, and some beast blood pellets. Jack isn't, uh, I mean, he's fighting there in the background, but yeah, your boss is over here. Oh, Jack, oh, you got a swing in there. For this boss, I suggest the Salt Lever because it's faster. Even though the Ludwig Blade is a bit stronger, but for me, it's a bit faster, this one. Okay, I don't know where Jack is. Jack is probably back in, the oh, there he is. 
Come on, but this is your boss. Oh, he's being, he's being very cautious over there. Now, usually that's where you have to back off because she blows up with a lot of poison, but I think you got it out of that animation. Okay. Now, you must see how this fight ends. I mean, I'm happy and everything, and he just runs away. He doesn't wave, he doesn't say thank you, he doesn't leave me some cookies and milk, nothing. It's... It's unacceptable. Okay. Yeah, well, I killed this boss for him. I'm happy, I'm shouting, look, there he goes. Not, not a thing, nothing. <laughs> but that's it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys soon. And uh, take care of yourselves, eh? Cheers.